James, can you please go get Dr. Skiles so he can talk with me about this patient? It'll just be one moment, ma'am. Dr. Skiles, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, Dr. Warner. I'll talk to you a little bit about your patient. Before I do that, though, I have to tell you, this is one of the ugliest looking patients I have ever seen. She looks like a typical patient to me, but nonetheless. As you can see, Ms. McLaughlin has an 80% stenosis in the mid portion of her left anterior descending artery. I think, personally, it would be best if we put a drug-coated stent in the patient so that we can cure her. I wanted to get your input, though. Well, I admire your confidence, Dr. Warner. However, the recent COURAGE trial results would suggest that I can help this patient just as much with medical therapy. I realize that as an interventional cardiologist, you don't have to use your brain quite as much as the thinking cardiologists do. So I can help you out by telling you that medical therapy is the perfect choice for this lovely lady. I should have known that somebody that only knows how to write prescriptions for a living would not be able to see the superior benefit of placing a stent in this patient. You can leave now. I'm going to go ahead and place a stent and cure this lady like I should have done in the first place. Tim, can you pass me the stent, please? Yes, sir. You're not putting a stent I in my patient. I said you can leave now. You're not putting I a stent. Said you how about that? What are you doing? You just broke no. Gentlemen, I heard about this recent event in the cath lab. Your behavior is reprehensible and unprofessional. What do you have to say for yourselves? I am sorry that he has rocks for brains. I think the radiation finally caught up to him. Al. I'm sorry he has such ugly patients. Oh, that's enough. You both are suspended from the medical staff officially. Why don't you pack your bags? Get out of here. I have uh, 325 of Tylenol. Uh, All right, guys.